Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down a super simple one minute scalping strategy that you can start to utilize in order to extract profits from the markets. Now, this is going to be the start of a brand new mini series that I'm going to be doing in which I showcase to you a bunch of different trading strategies. And then if the video does well, I'll actually go on to back test each of these strategies as well for a minimum of a hundred times so that we can figure out together if the strategies are actually profitable or not. If you do enjoy this video, then please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. But without further ado, let's jump straight into this one minute scalping strategy. So to make everyone's life a little bit easier, I've made this scalping strategy document, which I'm going to be leaving down in the description below so that you guys can follow along with exactly what you need, the rules and a trade plan in the form of a checklist so that you can tick it off as we go on together. You're going to need four indicators. Those come in the form of three exponential moving averages and one fractals indicator by Williams. Go to your charts, go to your indicators tab and type in EMA. That's gonna bring up your moving average exponential and you're gonna click that three times. Next, you're gonna type in Williams and then you're gonna click on Williams fractals. Now, once you've got all three of these on your charts, you're then simply gonna double click on them and you're gonna change the period to three for Williams fractals. You're gonna change the first EMA to a 20 period, the second EMA to a 50 period, and the third EMA to a 100 period. Once you've done that, you're ready to go to start taking these trades. So let's take a look at how you would enter a trade in a bullish scenario. First and foremost, you wanna make sure that you're in a trending market. Now, how do we do that? We need the 20 period to be above the 50, and we need the 50 period to be above the 100. Once all three of these are above each other, we know that we are in a trending market and we are not in consolidation. Therefore, in a scenario like this, we are safe to assume that we can take long positions. And on the flip side, when the 20 period EMA is below the 50 and the 50 period EMA is below the 100, we can safely assume that we are in a bearish market and that we can safely take short positions. So now that we've identified exactly how we're gonna understand if we're in a trending market or not, let's start to put this trade together and go through this checklist. So we've identified that we're in a trending market. We can clearly see that we are bullish. We're next gonna wait for a pullback into the 20 or the 50 period EMA. And as we can see right here, we've pulled back into the 20 period EMA. Next, we're gonna wait for a fractal to be printed. So if I play price on, we can see that right there, we get a fractal printed. So we can tick this off. We're now gonna enter our position right here. We're gonna put our stop loss just below the corresponding EMA. So stop loss below the corresponding EMA, and in this case, it's at the 100. We're then gonna target a one to 1.5 risk to reward, so we can tick that off. And that is it. We then play price on, and as we can see, price then goes straight to take profit. So that was a nice bullish scenario. So let's take a look at how it would look on the flip side. So we can see that the 20 period EMA is below the 50 period and the 50 is below the 100. This means we are in a bearish market and we can safely start looking for short positions. So we've identified what market we're in. We're now gonna wait for a pullback into the 20 or the 50 period EMA and we get that right there. So we've pulled back into the 20 period. So now we're gonna wait for a fractal to be printed. So if I continue to play price on, we can see that we get a fractal printed right here. So we can tick that off and we can take our short position on this candle. Now, because we've pulled into the 20 period, we're gonna put our stop loss at the corresponding EMA. And in this case, that's gonna be the 50 because that is the next one up. And then we're gonna target a one to 1.5 risk to reward. So that is gonna be right there. So now if I play price on, we can see that price goes straight to take profit. So as we can see, it is a super simple trading strategy. Four indicators, three EMAs, one fractal, one minute or the five minute chart. Make sure we're in a trending market. Then we simply wait for price to pull back into either the 20 or the 50 period EMA wait for a fractal to be printed, stop loss above or below the corresponding EMA, and then we target a simple one to 1.5 risk to reward. So it's super simple. So let me give you a few more examples and a couple other things that you have to make sure you're aware of. So in this scenario, we can see that we are in a bullish trend. The 20 period is above the 50 and the 50 is above the 100. However, in this entire leg of price right here, even though we've got all of these fractals being printed, 
we're not executing any trades. And the reason for that is because we haven't closed below the 50 or the 20 EMA, we've simply just stayed above. That means we're not entering into any trades and we're waiting for price to actually pull back into one of the EMAs. So we've identified that we're trending in a bullish direction, so we can tick that off. Next, we've now pushed into the 20 and we've also pushed into the 50 EMA. So we've pulled back so we can tick that off and now we're simply waiting for a fractal to be printed. Next, we can see that price prints a fractal right there. Therefore, we can tick that off and then we can take our long position right here at the close of this candle. We're gonna put our stop loss at the corresponding EMA, which in this case is gonna be the 100 because we pulled back into the 50. We're then gonna target a one to 1.5 risk to reward so we can tick that off. And then we're just gonna play price on. As we can see, price does consolidate for a while, but then eventually it does go to take profit. So not all trades are gonna be nice and simple. They're not gonna be quick. Sometimes you can be in you know, a consolidation period like this for a few minutes, but even if we take a look at exactly how long this took, that was only 45 minutes. So sometimes the trades are much, much quicker. Sometimes they're a little bit longer. You just have to make sure that you're following the trading plan and you have to come with the understanding that if you follow the plan, you're gonna win more than you lose. However, if you guys do want me to do a full back test where I go through a minimum of 100 trades, then make sure you let me know down in the comment section and by liking this video, because if this video does do well, then I'll definitely be going through that back testing. So one last thing that we have to make sure we're aware of is that if price closes below or above the 100 period moving average, you are no longer gonna be taking a trade. Now the reason for this is because if price goes and closes below or above, it usually signifies that a trend reversal is coming. Therefore, if in this instance we are in a bullish market and price goes and closes below the 100 period EMA, then nine times out of 10, price is gonna flip bearish, break through that original trend and go in the opposite direction. Now, understanding this, you're probably gonna stop a few losses because you're gonna know that a trend reversal is coming and that you need to stay out of the trade. So just make sure if you close below the 100 EMA, then you don't take any trades. So that is pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video. A super simple one minute scalping strategy. Now you know exactly how you're gonna identify and execute these trades. Again, if you do want me to do a full blown black test to understand if this strategy is actually profitable or not, then make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section below. And if you have tried to trade this strategy before, then also let me know that in the comment section below. But on that note guys, I hope everyone's had a great trading day and a great trading week. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.